Look, I completely know I'm overdoing these intros, but still, just for fun. <laughs> iPhone 6 and iPhone 5 is gang. Apple just recently dropped iOS 12.4.9. Hmm, interesting. Okay, if you do have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5S, make sure to watch this video till the very end because Apple just recently dropped iOS 12.4.9 and in this video, we are going to cover every single thing you need to know. How's the battery life? How's the performance? Are there any bug fixes? And should you update if you care about jailbreaking and all that good stuff? So make sure to watch this video till the very end and let's jump into it. Okay. First things first, if we quickly check, this update came in around at 40 megabytes on my iPhone 6. I don't have any other device which runs on iOS 12, but I asked from a friend and for him it was around 37 megabytes. So this is a fairly small update. It doesn't include any new wallpapers. So if you go to wallpaper section, you can see all the old wallpapers are there. By the way, if you want this wallpaper which I'm using, I'll link it down in the description below. Okay, once I tapped on installed update, it took like 3 to 4 seconds to download this update, but the software update continuously failed 3 times. Keep that in mind before updating. I don't know if it's just me, but the 4th time I checked it, the size came in around 2.28 GB. So that's why I took a screenshot. So before updating, keep that in mind, it failed 3 times for me. Okay, the next question that will strike your mind, how on earth I updated my device? because it just failed for three times. Well, I used tool from our channel sponsors, Tenorshare. I'm not saying this because this is a sponsored video. No, I genuinely used their tool and it worked for me. You can also use other tools, but I highly suggest you using Tenorshare's Ryboot Pro, but more on that later. Okay, I completely understand you're dying to know how's the performance, how better it is from iPhone 12. The performance is fine here, but nothing is groundbreaking. As I already told you, this is just an update for bug fixes and the performance is as it was on iOS 12.4.7 or even 12.4.8. I installed some apps, YouTube, Among Us, Tweetbot, Calculator because the native calculator sucks, Lightroom and my to-do app. I edited some photos in Lightroom, well I also used YouTube and Apple Music to listen songs and I also played Among Us. And I'm happy to report that these things work really fine on this guy. I also edited some photos as I already told you and everything worked out really perfectly. And if we talk about multitasking, this, I don't know if that's the case on iPhone 6 only, but iPhone 6 on iOS 12.4.9 or even 12.4.8 cannot handle multitasking because it has already one gig of RAM if I'm not wrong, but that's a whole separate case iPhone 7 can handle it perfectly, but if we just keep it at a side, iPhone 6 uh, barely can do that. But yeah, if you care about multitasking, you should probably upgrade your phone to maybe an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 8. Because yeah, I don't know, it, it's just only with the operating system or the iPhone, but multitasking is not that good over here. But if we talk about battery, how's the battery life? How's the battery performance? Uh, if you play some games, how's the battery drain and all that good stuff and most importantly do this guy heat up so i didn't do anything really heavy like video editing on this device so i can't really say about heating issues but if we go to battery another thing i forgot to mention the battery health before updating i completely remember was 87 i don't know what happened the battery health jumped to 90 percent i'm not talking about battery percentage the battery health it jumped to 90%. I don't know what happened. I don't know. This page refreshed when we update. I completely don't know. So the battery life is okay on this guy. I can get three to two hours on screen time depending upon what you are doing. The battery is again as it was on iOS 12.4.7 or 12.4.8. Again, I told you there isn't like much improvement in performance and all that stuff surely there will be some improvements but as you use your iphone for longer and longer on this ios 12.4.9 because i think this is the last update uh, you'll come to know about performance another thing i don't know that thing happened with ios 12.4.9 or this issue was also with iOS 12.4.8 but as soon as I bring in my AirPods Pro 
I open the lid and it connects to all my devices. My iPad, it shows the pop-up. And as you can see, if I bring in here, you can see it shows me the pop-up. But that's not the case on uh, this iPhone. I don't know the pop-up menu doesn't even exist for the AirPods Pro. I completely don't know why this is happening. Uh, these devices are running on same Apple ID, but still I cannot connect my AirPods Pro with that pop-up menu thing on this iPhone 6. Do let me know if you are also facing these problems. Another thing, and this is really important, connectivity issues. My Wi-Fi just completely doesn't show on this phone. As soon as I move to any other room, the Wi-Fi completely disconnects. So that's also one downside I just noticed. Uncover is not working on 12.4.9. The exploit is not patched. The exploit is still there. It's not patched by Apple, but still for some reason, Uncover is showing unsupported. Surely this problem may or may not be fixed by uh, team Uncover, but this is one thing that you have to consider before updating uh, if you care about jailbreaking. And I'm happy to report that Checkrain jailbreak also works on 12.4.9 which is really really great you can update your phone as well as if you are keeping an iphone 6 as a side device you can update all the tweaks will work you can update if if you want like the same battery life and performance and you use check rain jailbreak uh, for those people who never jailbreak their iphone just don't listen to this part update your phone there is no reason not to update but if you care about jailbreaking and you use uncover jailbreak do not update as uncover is not updated and how you'll get to know when it's updated just make sure to follow me on twitter it's down in the description below by the way it's at the rate i device slash i'll provide you the latest updates because here yeah, i'm really active on twitter you can also dm me and ask me anything you want me to know that's all well that was pretty much it for this video if you want this wallpaper i'll link it down in the description below if you want to support this channel you can join my patreon i provide some news as well as some good stuff and all these wallpapers over there it's down in the description below thanks for watching peace okay if you do have an iphone 6 or if iphone